Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm excited to check it out. Double Play Baseball! Score the winning run from Lakeside's Sports Dice Game. This is for ages 8 to adults for two players. Take about 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in Double Play Baseball, you're going to be taking the field, rolling dice, setting your batting order as you're going to take turns between alternating as the pitcher and the hitter trying to... Play baseball and score runs. It is a light, simple dice chucker, but is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look. What should we get inside of double play baseball? First and foremost, we have a handy dandy inside of the rule box. Uh, which, by the way, I don't know why more companies don't actually do this. If you have a simple game like this, I actually don't mind the rules on the inside of the box. These are perfectly serviceable. They'll have the oven running in no time at all, and I can teach you how to play the game right now. So in Double Play Baseball, it is your, your game of baseball, where you are going to be playing over the course of nine innings, trying to get the most points and have more runs than your, team do your opponent does. In this game, you're going to be taking control of the hitter and the pitcher. So the pitcher is going to be getting this white dice right here, and the hitters are going to be getting all these dice right here, which are going to constitute your team. So you have your big MVP candidate who's going to be hitting about 666. That's his batting average. You're also going to have really good players who are like all-star players who are hitting about 500, which means half of these are going to have them getting hits. And then you're going to have your three bad players who are these guys right here? They're going to be hitting 166, if that makes any sense to you, if you're a baseball fan. First thing you're going to do during the game is you're actually going to be setting your batting order. So you keep track of this. So let's just say we did like that by placing them down in that order and then writing down your batting order, which is actually kind of a cool aspect of this game. I didn't expect that in the game. So for instance, orange, 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 red, orange, blue, blue, blue. Um, so this is important because like in real baseball, you are not going to be able to just say, Hey, red dice, then red dice, then red dice, then red dice. You actually have to cycle through all of your players and you have to keep track of that from inning to inning to inning. You're going to be able to keep track of a lot of the stuff up here on your scoreboard and your, your, uh, your, your wall back here. This actually folds up and it actually folds into the box really nicely, which is neat as well. You're going to get these pegs to keep track of the score and the balls and the strikes and the outs, even though most likely you'll probably just do most of that in your head because it does get somewhat tedious just moving this for the balls and the strikes. And that's something I forgot to mention in the cons is that you're probably not going to end up doing that because that is a little bit tedious. But how does it work? It's pretty simple. The first thing that's going to happen is the first person in the pitcher is always going to roll the dice to see if it is a, uh, a ball that's in play or if it's just a ball. So if you roll this, it's just a ball and the pitcher rolls again. Obviously, if you get four balls, then whoever's at bat is going to go to first base. But since I actually rolled a ball that is good, a good pitch, then whoever's up to bat is going to roll the dice and see what happens. And so for this one, it would be a home run. So good for me. I got a point. So the home team, boop, is on the board and they have one run. And then this guy would go all the way to the very back and then it would be this guy's up to bat, which means, once again, the pitcher's going to roll. So let's show you the different faces of the dice. And actually they're over here, which is kind of nice. Out, double play, triple play, which if you're familiar with baseball should be pretty self-explanatory. Foul ball, strike, home run, single, double, triple. I mean, that's really it. It's a very light, simple dice rolling game. Once you get three outs, then your opponent will then come into play, which means they're going to order the dice based on whatever their batting order currently is. And you rinse, wash, and repeat over the course of nine innings. Whoever has the most runs after nine innings will be the winner of the game. And that, in a nutshell, is how you're going to play Double play baseball. Oh my god, it's so much fun! Alright then, double play baseball from Lakeside Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Two players, uh, restricted player count. The biggest reason that this game is going to fall flat on its face for a lot of people is the fact that it's 100% pure luck. It is just dice rolling on 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 dice rolling. There's nothing there to mitigate your dice rolling. And it gives you like this false sense of, hey, there's strategy in this game at first. Because the first thing you do is you set your batting lineup. It's like, where do I want to put my all-star? Where do I want to put my, my MVP? Where do I want to put my, my mediocre players? How do I want to set my batting lineup? And then from that point on, it's just 
Roll the dice, 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 over and over and over and over and over and over and over again for nine innings. So the game has no real strategy whatsoever once you get past setting your lineup. Also, the game is repetitive over and over and over and over again. And this game can outstay its welcome. And what will happen, and what happened in my classroom when I played this with a couple kids, is if they weren't 100% into the game, they would start to trickle off after around the fourth or fifth inning because this game does outstay its welcome. There should have been a softball game, but I imagine that would be a lot less popular because, you know, baseball obviously is more popular than softball. Uh, but nine innings is just a long time to play this game because you're doing the same thing just over and over and over again. Also, there's no good way to keep track of your batting order aside from writing it down. It even says in there, hey, write down your batting order because there's no good way to keep track of your batting order. Any other cons I have for this game? It's probably out of print. It's probably going to be very difficult to find. But if you're watching this, you're probably uh, looking at it at a thrift store or something like that. And moving on to the pros, if you have someone to play this with and you enjoy baseball and you don't mind the fact that it's 100% pure dice rolling luck and it's repetitive, I enjoyed double play baseball for what it was. I really did. And I, now, take this with a grain of salt because I am a big baseball fan. I have a baseball tattoo. I've watched baseball since I was a kid. You know, I, I, I've taken my son to a baseball game and he's only five. I took him when he was three. So I'm obviously the target demographic for this game, and I did enjoy this game for what it was. And what I ended up doing is shorting it down to a five-inning game for most of the kids that I played with, and that seemed to work out a lot better. But what did I like about this game? So first and foremost, I like the components. I really like that they made this cool little baseball field where the dice go around the thing, and that's one of the biggest things that the kids really did enjoy. A small thing like this is that it's not just, oh, that that's guys on second base. No, you actually get to move the dice around uh, you know, the bases, which was kind of cool, and the children did enjoy that. I enjoyed the fact that you don't suck. Most of the time, you know, it's a 6-6-6 six, six, six hitter. I'm talking about batting average, and then a 500, and then I think it's like a, a 166. So most of your people are going to be getting hits and doing stuff pretty routinely, which is good. It's not like real baseball where most of the players are hitting like 250. So I did enjoy that. Uh, also, moving on to the components, the dice are very, very nice. The pegs work perfectly fine. Uh, there's dice cups, which are completely unnecessary because you're rolling one dice at a time. I, th I actually found these kind of funny because when you're the pitcher, you roll this one dice. And when you're the hitter, you're going to be rolling one die at a time. So I, I, these are completely unnecessary, but say hey, it's still nice that they're there. Uh, also, the box is really kind of nice. It's, a, it's like this open up like this box and it fits everything really well. So for games, normally with games this old, you don't find nice box inserts, but this box insert is pretty nice as well. And in the end, should you get this game? Should you go out and look for this game? No, you should not. It's not good enough to go out and search for this game unless you're an avid collector or an avid baseball fan who's also an avid collector. But if you stumble upon this game, and if you don't mind the fact that it's repetitive and 100% luck-driven, and you love baseball, slash like baseball, a lot, then I can recommend Devil Play Baseball. For everybody else, no. No. What am I going to be doing in this game? That's a tough one. I, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this game, to be honest with you. Um, well, I did enjoy it. It just outstayed its welcome for the kids in my classroom. And most of the kids in my classroom are not that big into baseball. And there are better games that aren't necessarily about baseball that I'd rather play with my own son. So in the end, Double Play Baseball is a very hard game to recommend. It's a very niche game. And I myself am not keeping it. But I did enjoy my time playing it. And I, and I, I think, yeah, it's a hard game to recommend. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Baseball, yay or nay? For me personally, yay. Uh, I really like in the recent years how they've gotten the uh, the cameras more into it where you can do replays. I wish they would just automatically do all that though because you know they have the technology uh, and I think that would speed up the pace of the game. But let me know in the comments below. Baseball, yay or nay. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.